What is going on guys? My name is Brennan and we're back with some more general manager mode for SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. And we have a big week of course, so we've got a pay-per-view for ECW this week. And also next week we have the Backlash pay-per-view. So our ratings are going to take a huge hit over the next couple of weeks. So I'm just going to be doing some trophy dates here and um, boosting up the popularity for some of our guys. And uh, hopefully um, getting them to a decent rating so we can use them in the future. And, um, you know, put on better matches. So, but the ECW pay-per-view didn't do so well. A three-star rating. Yeah, not too, not that good. But, um, yeah, I guess uh, it's not too bad. I mean, look, you know, they just had three matches. That's pretty pathetic when you think about it. A pay-per-view, you get three matches. Yeah, probably why ECW sucks. <laughs> but um, we've got a pretty good show lined up for you guys. I mean, we're building up to towards our Judgment Day pay-per-view. So, we're starting to lay the ground... The foundations for our our general manager mode for our roster, and we're starting to get some rivalries brought down. We're starting to boost up the popularity for our lower guys, get them to around a, a 70, 75 range for now, and then we're going to work on our top guys, like The Undertaker, John Cena, Rey Mysterio, CM Punk, um, even Corvon. We'll build them up to around a 90, maybe in a 100 level. We might even max them out. We'll see how we go, but... We've got a good situation right now, and we've got some good talent on the roster. And um, we have enough guys, you know, to fill what we need to do. I still want to get some more cruiserweights in. I've got guys like William Regal, Snitsky, um, Chris Masters that, you know, aren't really cruise, uh, cruiserweights and aren't really that great. So I might be thinking about trying to get some probably higher profile, high tier cruiserweights. So like Edge, um, Sabu, um, John Morrison... Guys like, so Johnny Nitro, I think it is in this game. So, trying to get some guys like that. Jeff Hardy is another one. I'm just trying to rattle off a few. So, we're trying to get those guys and put them on our roster because we do have the Cruiserweight Championship we need to worry about. And um, we've only got a couple of Cruiserweight truly on the roster. So, we're, we're fine for now because we have a couple of rivalries set in stone. We've got some rivalries in play. So, we need, don't need to worry about them as for now. We don't need to worry about the Cruiserweight Championship for now. So, you can see there is our rivalry list. Um, I put in the CM Punk Corvon rivalry. I managed to get a, a David vs. Goliath rivalry going. I mean, that was the highest rated one I could get in. Um, so, yeah, we've got a lot of rivalries going on, and uh, we're going to go ahead and book this show. And first of all, our main event is going to be a fatal four-way matchup. It's going to be between our four top guys. Um, you could probably argue that there's no Mysterio or Elijah Burke there, but they're they're often doing their own thing. So we've got Cena, Undertaker, Corvon, and CM Punk. So this should be a really good matchup as well. So as well as that, we're going to do some advertising, get some more money. And um, if you didn't see before, we don't have a tag team rivalry yet. And that's because both our tag team, the number one contenders for the tag team championships, Sandman and Chris Masters, they're both clean. So we're going to turn one of them um, to dirty so we can actually put them in a rivalry. So we've done that this week as well. And I'm going to have Elijah Burke coming up against Rey Mysterio in a one-on-one -on -one non title matchup. We're not going to do any championship matches until Judgment Day from now on. So we're just going to make sure that we do majority of our championship matches on the pay-per-view. Make the pay-per-view a little bit more special, in my opinion. And if we want to do a big pay-per-view show, why not? Let's do like a an hour-long pay-per-view show like we do on our universe mode for our GM mode. If you guys are interested in seeing that, uh, make sure you let me know. So we've got Kane and MVP with, and we're going to put William Regal in MVP's corner. So we just use him this week. He's, we've really, we haven't got anything for William Regal at the moment. So we're just going to throw him in some random crap. And uh, we're going to have the tag team champions coming up against the number one contenders for the tag team championship to see um, how they go up against each other, see the ratings, see what we're looking at between that feud at the moment before we get it going. And of course, to finish it off, we've got a. We're going to change this to a singles matchup because Snitsky's fatigue's a bit too high. So we're going to change this to a singles matchup. We've got Brendan, myself, my creator guy, coming up against Snitsky. And now I know you guys are thinking, why are you putting Brendan on the show? He's a very low popularity. He's going to bring the whole show down. You know, it's a fair enough call, but um, I think we got to we got to use him. You know, we have him, and if we don't use him, he's... Um, uh, morality, uh, morale is going to drop, and he's going to be angry at us and whatever. So... Um, of course, Snitsky won the first match, and then the tag team champions beat uh, Masters and Sandman. And Kane, the, the number one contender for the United States champion, gets a win. Elijah Burke, this, the cruiserweight champion, gets a win. And we're going to go ahead and play this main event matchup. It's uh, We're going to pick a random guy. We're playing as Cena. We're going to play as John Cena for this one in the fatal four-way matchup. Now, it's a non-title match. There's nothing on the line here at all. 
And um, it's probably just the four, I'd say, um, contenders for the World Heavyweight Championship in one match. I mean, I guess it, it is excluding Rey Mysterio, but I wouldn't be putting I won't be putting him in the World Heavyweight Championship scene for some time. I think I'm going to keep him in the Cruiserweight scene to kind of boost up the Cruiserweight Championship a little bit more. So um, we have Cena coming out now. And, um, you know, keep Mr. Mysterio in the Cruiserweight scene so we can have him... Uh, feud with some cruiserweight guys because you have Mysterio, who's you know popularity 80, 90, whatever. And we're gonna keep him there, and we can have some good cruiserweight matches with with Mysterio there, and we can have some good popularity matches there. So we can get some good, better ratings for the cruiserweight matches. Because you know we have guys like I don't know Chavo, uh, you know guys like that. You know some really low popularity guys that are cruiserweights. So there's not much there that we can do with it. So that becomes a bit of a problem. So we keep Mysterio in there rather than putting him up to the World Heavyweight Championship scene, which is fine because, you know, we've got guys like Undertaker, John Cena, um, you know, guys like that. So, you know, we, we, we're we fine for now with uh, the World Heavyweight Championship scene, so we don't need to rush Mysterio in there anytime soon. And I know we can just build these guys up by using trophy dates or whatever, but um, I think it's uh, important that we just focus on the, the heavyweights. They, they focus on the heavyweight championship, whereas the cruiserweights, if they can do the cruiserweight championship, we we'll pull them in the Cruiserweight Championship scene. And then the mid-card guys who are not quite World Heavyweight Championship level, but um, still a heavyweight and not cruiserweights or whatever, we throw them in uh, the United States Championship scene or tag team scene if they're a tag team. And, uh, CM Punk, the last guy coming out here. So the Fatal Four just about to begin. It should be a really good matchup in my opinion. And then four of our top guys in uh, one Fatal Four-Way match. Should be good. And it's also keeping the rivalries together as well. I mean, uh, Punk and Corvon, they're starting off their rivalry and Cena and Undertaker continuing their rivalry because we don't want to do too, one -on too many one-on-one -on -one matches with uh, our guys. So we don't want to have Cena and Undertaker take each other on too much leading into the pay-per-view because, you know, we've seen the match. We don't care. You know, we want to have these guys still be involved with each other, still have a, a, a match-up of some sorts against each other. But in saying that, we don't want them to be a one-on-one -on -one match. You know, we'll have a tag team. We'll have... Um, triple threats, fatal four ways, so they're still involved with each other, but not just one on one directly. And I seen him go for a quick cover there, but uh, Colin Vaughan is going to break that one up. Trying to get, uh, we try to get a big cu quick cover on uh, CM Punk, but uh, not going to work in a fatal four way situation. And uh, Punk going ahead, attacking the Undertaker, and boom, Undertaker's down, and a big clothesline to CM Punk from Colin Vaughan as well. So guys, I. Just want to know your opinions on the uh, general, man general manager mode so far. How are we going with it? I know the ratings and all whatnot aren't going that well, but I think you know the series in general. I think we are um, heading in the right direction with this series because I specifically bought this game just to do a series on it, man. And this game is like what I don't know, five years old, maybe even long. I think it might be like oh, six years old, maybe. Um, I think it came out in two thousand seven. So, you know, it's a, it's a pretty old game, and I just got this game specifically to, you know, to do a series on it for YouTube, for you guys, and um, just let me know what you guys are thinking of the series so far, that'd be pretty sweet if you can put that put that in the comments section down below, I'd really appreciate any comments, some likes as well, be awesome, because, um, you know, I'm going to try and work some really hard on getting this General Manager Mode series up and running really good for you guys, and, you know, put on some entertaining matches, and put on um, some entertaining shows, so if you guys want to see the full length, um, pay-per-views for our shows please let me know in the comment section down below that's the question of the week and here's a cover from Corvon's two it's a three so a quick match Marcus Corvon sneakily gets a gets a win on CM Punk as you know we were battling the Undertaker outside the ring there and working him down working to uh, take him out and then Corvon snuck in the ring and got a quick cover so uh, congratulations to Corvon it's a pretty big victory in the, the scheme of things, you know, getting a victory over Cena, Undertaker, and CM Punk in one hit, it's a very big, it's a very big victory. So, uh, the rivalry between CM Punk and Corvon has now begun, and Corvon's one up on CM Punk, pinning him directly there. So, as I was saying, um, you know, if you guys want to see the full length pay per view show, so Judgment Day full length, um, and I think it'd be like what one hour, an hour and a half show. Oh. I'm not, just, I'm not sure how many matches are on a pay-per-view. I don't think there's that many. I think it might be like five. So it's not going to be long as our universe mode ones, but it's still going to be a fair show and a fair length. So if you guys want to see that, please let me know in the comments section down below. And I'm going to go ahead and check out our ratings for this week. So two and a half star rating, two, uh, one and a half star rating, sorry, and then two, two and a half star ratings and a three star 
and a three and a half star rating. So, yeah, not too bad at all. I think uh, we've done all right. I mean, Raw got a two and a half star rating show overall, so as would as did we. An ECW three and a half star rating. Even though, look, you know, their matches <laughs> two and a half stars and one three star or something like that. So. I don't know, it's the game for you, I mean, that's one of the flaws in this game, I say this every week, but uh, it sucks, but it is what it is, we can't help that, so I'm going to simulate the head to back, Backlash, and uh, we'll see, we're dominating the Power 25, so we've done our first general manager, um, I don't know, challenge, I suppose, we've got three guys in the top five in the Power 25, so I think those were Cena, Undertaker, and Rey Mysterio, they was managed to stay in the top five for... Um, the whole month, so that's a pretty good effort, I'm pretty happy with that, so we've done well there, we've got our first um, couple of percentage towards our General Manager of the Year Award, and hopefully we can continue doing that, and uh, hopefully you guys continue to watch the series and follow me along my journey to becoming the number one General Manager here in the WWE, and uh, that pretty much wraps it up guys, hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, of course, leave a like, and want to see more General Manager mode, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm doing about one a week at the moment. If you want to see more, I can do a couple more every week. So I can maybe do two or three a week if you feel like it. Um, so yeah, do all that. Subscribe if you enjoy the video. And uh, I'll be back very soon with another video for you guys. Thanks for watching.